Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Adronica.com giving you a quick look at a few things that are new in the Froyo version of HTC Sense for the HTC Evo 4G. Uh, now, full disclosure, I'm running the leaked ROM. This isn't the final, final build, but it's going to be pretty close to that. So uh, let's take a look. As you can see, we've got the little clock here, but uh, when I add a widget... Oh, the first thing I should say, this is a lot faster than what you've seen before. It's not going to be as blazing fast as the Nexus 1, but there's a noticeable speed boost in here. Uh, also, there's a lot of new widgets in here. I'm going to add uh, the Google Search widget. That's been tweaked just a tiny bit. Uh, as you can see, it looks different, and it gives you a, a choice of if you want to search for your apps, your web, all, blah, blah, blah. You've got that there. It looks different. Uh, now, also new is this Android Market widget. It does a little rotating image of some featured apps, and when you press it, it brings up the Android Market, and the Android Market looks new. As you can see, the comments are on now, they're on their own tab. You can scroll down. You can uh, buy the app if you have that support in your country. And when I press back, I can go through the market. The market looks a little different than it usually does. Uh, a lot of the same stuff for there, but there's small little tweaks to it. Also new is, uh, let me go leap. You've got changes to the car panel dock. Uh, now it has six before there used to only be four. And as you can see, you can use footprints, navigation, voice search, etc. Uh, and to exit out of there, you just press menu, exit. Uh, let me go back. And you've also got a widget for the FM radio app. Uh, I don't use that app particularly, but if you use it, you can now control playback from the home screen. There's one that's uh, half the screen, or you can get one that takes up the whole screen. Also, the camera has some new things. All right, uh, as you see, the, the icons rotate, as see right here. When I move, so do the icons, and it stays with me. Also, what's great is you can force the light to come on while vi doing video. So if I'm doing video and it's a dark setting, I can force the LED light to come on. So it'll stay on the whole time as I'm recording. Now, be forewarned, this light is pretty bright. So uh, if you're putting it directly in someone's face, it might be a little harsh, but uh, it can be useful if you're shooting at nighttime. Uh, so you can get rid of the, which, what was it, the LED light. That app was a great app, but you technically don't need it anymore. Also, uh, you can get rid of it because it has a flashlight app. Uh, it turns the, your LED light on with three levels, and as you see, it gets brighter and brighter. It's a pretty cool app. And then uh, you've got app sharing, which once you install apps from the Android Market, you can select an app to share with a friend, and you click it, and it gives you all the options that you can share. You can share via Bluetooth. Uh, it'll bring it up in the Android Market, or you can send a link through anything that takes advantage of the share function in Android. Okay, uh, we talked about the new market. There's a lot of other things. It's got, uh, it's faster, like I said. It's got uh, Chrome to phone, which is not, uh, you can now get that. Uh, instructions for how to get that are on the website at andronica.com of how to get Chrome to phone. So if you browse the Android market using Chrome, uh, you can send it automatically to your browser by getting that app and installing the Chrome inst uh, extension. Also, recent apps. Usually when you press, when you held down on the home button, it only brought up the six most recent apps that you brought up. Now it brings up eight, and you can see it looks a little different, and it looks a little better if you ask me. Much easier to get. Uh, there's some new widgets. There's some small changes that you'll notice. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can see. Uh, just take around, mess with around. Oh yeah, one last thing. Sync all button. I love this so much because I don't need to have auto sync on all the time anymore. Now with this little widget, I can just press this and it'll start syncing on command. So you can now disable your your auto sync. And if you only want to check your emails like once an hour, once every two hours, just press that button and it'll do a quick check, uh, easy access. I love it. This is Andrew from Adjoinica.com saying, hope you enjoy the new version of Froyo for the HTC Evo as much as I am. Peace.